start a new vlog. I'm about to have a little girl's day with my mom and my sister. We're going to La Jolla, which is kind of like a beach town. A few beach towns down from where I live. It's a really nice area. So we're gonna do walking around and shopping and we have a dinner reservation. It's gonna be fun. It's literally the middle of the week and we're all three of us are so lucky that we have pretty flexible schedules. So it's a fun little Tuesday afternoon. I did my makeup and I'm gonna wear a cute outfit. So I thought like, let's just keep the good vibes going and bring you guys along. Drinking a big water. Put a scoop of Armour Colostrum in it to make it taste better. And it tastes so good. My favorite flavor is the Vine Watermelon. And definitely around the time I started doing this is around the time my skin started doing better. Could be related. It's definitely not hurting. So I'm really obsessed with this. And it's supposed to, it is supposed to help your skin. So we love it. Um, they gifted me like a bunch of it. So I just try it. Usually I'm not one to like buy um, super trendy things like this, but they shipped me some. And so I really love it. I'm also going to take some little microdose gummies. Waiting to get picked up. I want to show you guys my outfit. Look at these shoes. They're like little ballet flat kitten heels. They're like, they're more of a baby pink in person, but in the video they look more like neutral, nude. They're so comfy. They're from seven or nine and this whole inside part is like padded and they're leather i just love them and i'm wearing this like sweater i thrifted it's free people but i found it at a thrift store and then i got a yellow dress underneath it's linen and a little bow of course to match the dress these are the spring vibes all time. I got sunburn in Maui, major. Oh, and my that's buns are sucks. red. So. Oh, okay. So we go here and we take a right. Okay, okay. Um, how was it? It was nice. It was very relaxing. I think I used to come here with like my high school boyfriend. Okay, so what is it? I put it under your chin. And if your chin lights up yellow, it means you like butter. <laughs> oh. I thought it was like good luck or something. What does it say? You like butter. Well, who, does, who the heck doesn't? <laughs> Mom's like, do me. She's like sticking her whole chin out. <laughs> oh yeah, you like butter. <laughs> do you see it? Yeah, it's yellow. Yours is like almost fluorescent idea. Yeah. And then you eat the bottom. <laughs> no! You do? Woo! That's what you taught us. Wait, I taught you to eat the bottom? Barb did that? It was like really good. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it or just chew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it tastes like um lemongrass. Looks sour. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Hopefully I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need a light light you out of here. This is just so cute. It's so cute, so pretty. Oh my god, this is so adorable right here. Are you kidding me, right? Are these flowers, I love the yellow flowers. They're so cute. Okay, 
I'm in Aviator Nation. I'm trying to pick out a cute like sweat set. This one's like bright pink. You can't really see the color that well, but this is like option one. Or I could do like a white. Okay, this is the white on, but I feel like I already know. Pink is the answer. Cause this one's just, just kind of boring. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Your patience. <laughs> Anyone can learn tarot. Yeah. Yeah. She takes some nice photos. Wow, that is a shot. Thank you. Do you, they just sent me another drink. Is it because you told them I was an influencer? Really? Yeah. You'll think so. Do you have what we're doing for dinner? That smells so good. I just got up to LA. I have an event today. I'm getting my makeup done first. I put tanning drops on and my skin is looking glowy. Who is this girl? Clear skin, glowy skin. You love it. And I started doing like a little lip tint and I overline my lip with the lip tint. So it kind of makes my lips look fuller too. Just some little like makeupless hacks. I'm gonna eat my salad before I go to my makeup appointment because I'm hungry. Really hope I don't get anything on my outfit because I wanna wear this all day. And my salad has beets in it, so hopefully we don't. Look how cute my salad bowl is. My little pink Tupperware. And I also have these little olive oil packs that are nice for traveling because you don't have to put the dressing on until now. Lately, I've been waking up so early, like in the middle of the night, and then I like take some melatonin or something to go back to sleep. So I woke up last night at 2.30 and I had to wake up at 5 this morning. So I couldn't justify taking melatonin because melatonin puts me out for like four plus hours and I had to get up in two and a half hours. So I like just basically st has stayed awake. I like tr tried to shut my eyes but I just blew it around for two and a half hours. So I pretty much got three hours of sleep last night. The adrenaline is bringing me through. I feel like my LA days make me so happy because I'm really like doing the most. These are the olive oil packs. Organic olive oil, super high quality. I'm such an olive oil snob and it's really good for you actually. If you're like a salad girl like me, it's literally like the perfect dressing because it's like so simple. You know everything that's in it. I'll link those packs for you if you guys want to try them. The event we have today is a Coachella gifting suite. My first Coachella event, I'm really excited. I'm usually not able to go to these because I haven't lived in California in so long. And last time I lived in California, it was COVID. So it wasn't even, Coachella wasn't even happening. So I honestly haven't been to Coachella since I was in college. And I was living in Colorado, so I had to fly in. For some reason, I wasn't getting invited to events back then. So this is like my first real Coachella as like an influencer. And I'm such a Coachella girl. So fun, it's like Disneyland to me. I was making a Coachella playlist on the drive up here, which made me so excited. I can link it for you guys if you guys wanna jam out with me. The headliners are always good, of course. My favorite people actually to see are like DJs. I love dance music, like I just love dance. And I feel like the headliners get overhyped and the, it's like so crowded to try to see them. Like my favorite thing to do is just go to like the smaller 
tent stages to, sm to the smaller stages and see like DJs that I know. just goes up until whenever they close. Whenever they close yeah. I'm trying to go spring skiing. And maybe it was I bundle up like a ninja. And figure out a spring skiing outfit. I'm thinking yeah, I would like I'm gonna like thrift something. Yeah. Birthday time mm -hmm. You're like stoic. play as a family. Yeah. yeah. You're stoic. stoic. He's stoic. Like I'm quick to tell people I like them or I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. return every month you have a solar return every year you have a venus return which is almost about every year you have pluto return but we don't live that long because that's like two or something years oh my god i got a poem candle stands for kinetic elegant natural beauty daring eloquent and limitless oh i'm gonna cry <laughs> it's okay you get so shit done pretty yeah. much <laughs> i do i'm fucking and you can move people and like things like you're just is that all your gifts no here's my card and then there's one more gift so this is so funny because the apple does not fall far from the tree mom i wrote you a poem too <laughs> <laughs> but my poem is shitty <laughs> i love you and all that you are you love all of it uh-huh all of you wow if you know <laughs> Unconditional love. Unconditional, oh, yeah. <laughs> there is a woman named Kendall who turned 27. She found health and self care is her sweetest passion, but is also driven by high style and fashion, and all of these pursuits put her in absolute heaven. Over your kitchen oh, island. So that is where you hang it from, where you have your hand right there. Yeah. So it's yeah. like a mobile. Yes. Kinetic. Oh, I'll put it on my bed like a baby. Hi vlog, I'm literally wearing the same outfit as yesterday because I worked like an hour so that's why it looks like yesterday but it's a new day, I'm just wearing the same thing. I got my teeth white in today. They look really white, actually, you can kind of tell. Usually a good indicator of if your teeth are like white enough is if they're as white or brighter than your eyes. And they're looking brighter than the eyes. So he did a really good job. I'm, it was like part of my one of my veneer appointments 
<clears throat> getting veneers in like a week. I'm getting the temporary ones put on. I'm so excited. They did like a mock up um, today of like what they would look like. I put it in my mouth. They look so good. I don't know if I can, if I'm gonna try to show you guys. I can put a picture on the screen. I don't know if you can see that, but I think they look so good. They're gonna look, my mouth, my smile is just gonna look more full, like symmetrical. I'm so excited. They're pretty much gonna look exactly like that. Yeah, like that looks like a happy girl. This doesn't look like a happy girl. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you know what I mean? I think I'll smile a lot more, which will actually make me happier because it's proven that smiling makes you happier. So this is a good investment for me. It's girl math. Basically, I love how they look and I can't wait. So that's in a week. And also he whitened my teeth today while I was there. I have so much to update you guys on. I'm doing my liver cleanse right now. Literally, I'm on my cleanse. It's day two. I started yesterday. If you guys watched like my cleanse detox vlog, you know how hard this is. So I did it two months ago. That was two months ago. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but ever since then, like I have had no hormonal acne. Like my skin has cleared up so much since doing that. So I'm thinking it's from the cleanse. So I want to keep up with it. And it's been two months. And your girl has been drinking a lot of tequila lately, so I figured it would be a good to give my little liver a little love and do my liver cleanse again and keep it keep it up so that my skin stays good. So we're on the cleanse and oh my gosh, it's like, it's tough, you know, it's tough. <sighs> but once it's done, I'll be so happy it's over and it'll be major delayed gratification so i did stop at free people and buy a couple things i bought some like really loungy like pajama type pants they have these like pink seersucker pants in the intimate section so i got those and then i got also like the shorts version you can't see but they're like a pink seersucker you can't really see on the camera and then i got these white them in white too i just felt like i needed more like comfy Comfy stuff. That's what I did today. I don't have much energy when I'm on this cleanse, so I keep it pretty minimal. I definitely couldn't work out. <clears throat> but it's like 5.30 and I'm gonna go to bed early again. I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night. I'm gonna do it again tonight. That's like the earliest I can justify going to sleep because the sun sets at like 7. So it doesn't even get fully dark till like 8. I can't go to bed when it's still light out. But this cleanse just makes me so tired that I want to go to bed so early. Let's do our skincare. It's evening. I've been so low energy today. It's still light out and I'm literally getting ready for bed. So this is cleanse life, but it's so worth it. Beauty is pain and discipline creates positive results. Let's do some skincare. I've been skin cycling for the past like month or so too. And I've decided that that's like my skin's favorite thing because last time my skin was this clear was like a year ago and I was also doing skin cycling then. First I do an oat cleansing balm to really melt away all the SPF and the brow gel. And then I go in with like a hydrating cleanser as my second cleanse. And then I use a disposable face towel and then I need a little pimple patch here and I do my LED this is three minutes long also I haven't mentioned this to you guys yet but I've been using the filter baby which filters water that comes out of the tap so that you're cleaning your face with clean purified water and I think this is also something that has helped my skin a lot it's hard to say exactly what but I think they just all add up together all the changes they make and I've noticed since I started using this that it's really helped my skin because water that comes out of here has a lot of chemicals and, and other impurities that your face will absorb if you don't filter it so another tip if you don't want to buy this is just to wipe your face with a like wet a cotton pad with water from like a water bottle and then wipe your face with this after you're done washing your face just to like clean it so i've heard that tip too if you don't want to invest in one of these although this has been so nice it is a bit pricey but 
I always say I think that skin is the best investment you can make because it's your face. Feeling confident in your face is like probably the most important thing to feel confident with, right? You know how it feels like to like walk into a space and like try to hide your face because you're so embarrassed from your skin. So I know how that feels and it's the worst. So I really, really, really do everything I can to have clear skin. This is the journey. We're doing good. And then I do this to brighten up toner from pharmacy. Pat it into my skin. And then some niacinamide. This is so good for acne prone skin also. I do a full dropper. I'm gonna take this little Roche Posay moisturizer and add some tanning drops because I'm in my self tanning era. And I just got this Lash and Brow Serum in from Olaplex. I love a lash serum. I feel like it really, really helped. I'm getting my lash lift lashes lifted and tinted in a couple days. It really helps to have long lashes. Makes the lash lift that much more dramatic. The Brow Serum. I'm really pretty happy with my brows, but I mean, why not? Add some more eye cream. And some lip mask. And that is all. Woo! It's so rainy out right now. Alright, we're going to the grocery store. I pretty much go to the grocery store every day when I'm on the cleanse because it requires so much produce and it just wouldn't be impossible to get it all in one day and it kind of makes a fun activity. So I'm just going to like the grocery store right by my house. It's like the most expensive grocery store. I love Madison beer. I should probably turn that off so I don't get copyrighted. This is the most expensive grocery store, but I am feeling lazy. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Normally I would go to like a farther away one that's cheaper, but this one's literally so close and it's so nice, so it'll be a little treat. I only need a couple things, so it shouldn't be like that expensive. I try not to do like a massive grocery haul at this one. It's feeling like winter. It's not feeling like spring. This view is always so pretty to me. I just love the ocean. Groceries secured and it actually wasn't that expensive. So I think it's only because I got a few things. I got some living lettuce, some sprouts, some cherry tomatoes, a whole bunch of spinach, basically just a bunch of veggies because I mean, it's amazing how much fruits and veggies I'm consuming on this cleanse. It's gotta be like so good for me. I know it is. I'm wearing like tanning drops some self tear on my face, so my face is looking like kind of orangey. Let's put all this away, and I need to drink my celery juice for the day. Which straw do I pick for this? Probably this one. Today is day four, which means I have to drink 32 ounces of celery juice, which is so much. Low key good though. It's like really good. And turn it on. And I just drink out of this to like have less dishes. And there's our smoothie. You wanna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> hi. Insomnia candle coming at you. <laughs> it's literally like 1 a.m. and I have just been laying in bed hours it feels like trying to sleep. I have my like anti-wrinkle patches on, my eye mask, I'm like fully in my PJs. Sometimes a good trick to getting back to sleep is to do an activity that doesn't require screens outside of your bed. 
like a puzzle or like coloring or something. And I just thought of this idea when I was sleeping. I was like, had to act on it while I was still thinking about it. So I want to basically change out the laces. I found these thrifting the other day, like full on, how cute, I mean, they look really cute on. Um, like Vans, white, I just love white tennis shoes. I want to put a ribbons in them. So I'm like curious if this ribbon is long enough. That would be like a good project to do for the middle of the night. I went to an influencer thrift pop-up the other day. I found such good finds. It's called Detour Shop and I send my stuff to them. It's like an influencer thrift store, so it's really good stuff. So first of all, I'm curious if these are even long enough, so I gotta measure them. It's definitely working, I'm getting my yawns in. My body's like, why are you, what are you doing, Kendall? I like randomly get bursts of insomnia in the middle of the night. I usually don't have trouble falling asleep, but it's like in the middle of the night, I'll like wake up for like hours and I don't know why. And I like don't look at my phone, I don't look at anything. I'll just like literally sit there with my eyes closed, but like awake and just like think about literally everything. This could be cute, guys. This could be cute. I tried again with a longer piece of ribbon and wait, I think I'm onto something. Like how cute does that look? Wait, I'm gonna do the other one. I think it's cute, right? Wish you guys could tell me real time. Like obviously the bow is way cuter than this one. I'm gonna do this one now. I'm in the car. I'm like pretty early to my lash, my lash appointment. I'm getting my lashes lifted and tinted. They're getting so long, so I'm like excited to see how they'll look once they have like a full tint on them because my lashes are like pretty blonde. I'm drinking my smoothie. Such a nice day out. Feels like summer. I just got off of FaceTime with Cassie and we're like planning Coachella stuff. Like just like all the little details like basically next week she's flying to LA and I'm gonna go up to LA for the week before I go to Coachella because there's just a ton of like influencer events and stuff which I'll bring you guys along to I'm basically planning for the prep for Coachella like it's like there's just a lot going on we want to get like spray tans and we're trying to figure out like hotels we want to stay at for up in LA and like all those little things so I'm getting really excited I'm getting like that summer, spring excitement feeling. I've been sitting at the beach for like an hour. It's so nice out. It feels like spring. I wouldn't say summer because I'm still a little chilly. But it's so beautiful out. This is making me so happy. This is like the perfect activity to do on a cleanse because I'm just really low energy so I can't do much. But I'm getting some like good happy hormones happy chemicals from the sun and I'm doing a bit of work on my phone, staying hydrated. I think I'm gonna go home now and make some lunch. Mostly because I have to go to the bathroom and there's not really a restroom here at this beach. And I definitely don't want to go in the water so I think I'm just gonna head home now. I'm wondering if it's time to wrap up this vlog, like a little week of my live Coachella prep. Or I could bring you guys to the rest of my prep because I have a hair appointment this week. I have, I'm getting my teeth done, but then it would be a very long vlog. So I think I'm gonna sign off here and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. It's gonna be Coachella. The next vlog is gonna be the Coachella vlog. So exciting. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys at Coachella. Mm -hmm.